My name is Arthene Thomas. I'm the Minority and Small Business Manager at the Jacksonville Onslow Chamber of Commerce. We are celebrating this July day, the unveiling of the Lillian P. Willingham marker. Ms. Willingham was a trailblazer in that she did so much for the community. She was an educator. She was an advocate for the uh, city. She did a whole lot. Uh, and she has a legacy that will go on forever. She was a teacher for th about 39 years in the Oslo County School System. In addition to teaching, she was very involved in community service, the Elks Lodge, the Order of the Eastern Star, very involved in her church, and politically active also. She was very involved in the community, uh, organizing, voter registration, participating in, part, um, in the process. She was on the Oslo County Board of Education uh, for a term. So very proud of that um, contribution. And it's something that inspires me. I kind of wish that I could do half as much as she did. Difficult to talk, um, actually, because it's uh, very emotional and um, just a lot of um, pride in um, the legacy that my mother left and just grateful for the friends and the family that have come out today to show support, grateful to the chamber. It's a great thing that the chamber has done to recognize the African American heritage in Jacksonville. This process has been going on for three years now, and uh, the first phase was the erection of the 13 sites around the county. And uh, we have brochures that uh, show those 13 sites. The first site is the Linda L. Richardson Memorial and the Jacksonville Anzalo Sports Hall of Fame, which is located at the Commerce Center here in Jacksonville. Linda L. Richardson was the minority business director at the chamber and she passed away and this is a memorial to her. We have uh, Sandy Run Church, we have St. Julia AME Z Church here in, in town. We have um, Muffet Point Marine before blacks could become a marine they had to be trained at Muffet Point. The marines would come to Muffet Point Jacksonville and uh, train and then go to their duty stations. So. We are now in the second phase of erecting signs for the other sites selected in the county. We're just really particularly grateful for, to the Chamber of Commerce for having done that. And the trail is um, continuing to grow. People are uh, continuing to be recognized. And it, it's a good thing. People can submit uh, sites they'd like to for consideration for the trail. And they can uh, go online to the Jacksonville Onslow Chamber of Commerce website and there's an application there for site selection.